Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. A Spokane woman who was left for dead after her throat was slashed used Facebook to track down her would-be killer. Avery Latham is charged with attempted first-degree murder, strangulation, and kidnapping after the victim rebuffed his sexual advances. KXY4 crime reporter Jeff Humphrey broke the story on his Twitter account this afternoon. He joined us now live at First in Pittsburgh where the victim was rolled around Jeff in a recycling bin. Nadine Latham told Spokane police that he just suddenly snapped and found himself strangling this woman first with his hands and then later on his shirt. Latham thought the woman was dead and so he used one of these blue recycle bins in the hopes of disposing of her body. It happened back on December 28th when the victim was in her bedroom in the basement of this First Avenue home. None of the victim's roommates were around when Latham, who's a casual acquaintance, tried putting the moves on this lady. She resisted, and that's when Latham says he choked her until she was unconscious. Latham thought that she was dead, and so he put her in a sleeping bag and carried her upstairs and dumped her inside the recycle bin. Latham went down the block to a boarded up home, dumped the victim out on the ground, and then to make sure that the victim was dead, slashed her throat with a pocket knife. Somehow, later, the woman regained consciousness and went next door where neighbors called 911. When the victim was discharged from the hospital, she used Facebook to track down the man she only knew as Avery and gave the police detective already working the case Avery's last name. Major crimes investigators were back at the home looking for evidence when Avery showed up and later admitted what had happened. And Nadine Latham has now asked the court for a mental health evaluation because some things that he did in jail after he was arrested, corrections deputies will not even trust him with a pen so that he can sign his court paperwork. Tonight, he's being held in lieu of a $100,000 bond. Reporting live in East Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. All right, thank you, Jeff.